Buongiorno amici di digitalproductions.tv. My name is Frederick Borgeson. I'm a senior product manager at RTS. I'm here at NAB 2018 in Las Vegas, representing RTS and our new product, Odin, right here, which is a new product we're very proud to announce. It has all the features of a digital intercom in a compact one rack unit format including up to 128 ports of digital audio in Dante compatible format we call Omnio. And on the rear it has connectors for analog key panels and two wire, as well as the ability to link multiple frames together into a large 1024 port matrix to grow up to the largest need you can possibly imagine. Uh, this device has redundant power supplies, it has a keypad on the front, it has a graphical UI based on icons that you can use to manipulate and uh, configure the device. And there is a way of connecting your laptop through the management port right here for our traditional AZ Edit and IP Edit uh, software products for configuration and setup. We think Odin will meet your needs from small OB vans where you need only perhaps 16 ports all the way up to large installations where multiple Odins can be interlinked for a high capacity matrix. Odin is designed to work with our KP series of key panels, which were introduced in 2015, and which have been a market leader in terms of ergonomic design and features for um, digital intercom key panels. We hope you'll check out Odin and we believe it's something that will be interesting for your application. Odin has been designed to scale from 16 ports all the way up to a complete 1024 port system by allowing up to eight Odins to be interconnected using what's called the interframe link, which is an optical fiber connection with two gigabits that can be set up for redundancy. The smallest configuration configuration of Odin starts at 16 ports and a single Odin can grow up to 128 ports through additions of software licenses. And it's also su fully supportive of analog key panels to allow you to use your legacy products without having to make an investment in new key panels if you already have a set of key panels that you want to use. Odin is really um, substantially more flexible and uh, scalable system than anything we've done in the past. The home menu has a status icon, a configuration icon, an alarm screen, and a, and a setup screen. If you go into status, for example, you get the view of hardware, system, and ports, peripheral devices, intercom itself and hardware and you'll see that as I'm turning the knob the text up here shows exactly what the icon symbolizes if I go into ports for example I can see the Omnio ports the IO ports the two wire ports key panel connections and TIFF so this is an example of how that operates if from the home screen you turn the knob sideways you get an overview of all the ports on the device. This particular device is frame two of a four frame system, ports 129 to 256. And you'll see that the first 16 uh, devices are connected here. Hello viewers, welcome back. We're now in a different section of the booth, highlighting the RTS digital deck based wireless system called Romeo. Romeo is a system based on belt packs with headsets. You wear this on your belt, like this, and it gives you four talk listen buttons where you can communicate with other users over DECT. The DECT technology is 1.8 gigahertz and is designed uh, to allow up for 50 belt packs with 10 access points in Europe. The system can grow by adding access points to create a coverage area uh, that is quite large. A single access point can, in this environment where we're at here at NEB 2018 in Las Vegas, we get a range of about 75 to 100 meters from the access point with this belt pack. You can speak to other users 
in one of two available voice codecs. One is called G722, which is a full rate audio codec that offers a 300 to 7 kilohertz frequency response. The other codec is called G726, and it offers a 300 to 3.5 kilohertz audio response, but it also doubles the number of belt packs that can be used in any access area. The number goes up from five belt packs per access point to 10 belt packs per access point in the low rate codec, which still sounds very, very good. The audio is excellent in this system. There's also a little panel here with some of the most common setup operations that you need to make represented as icons. And you can step through here. For example, we can select uh, the setup screen here. And now we get a second layer of icons where we can uh, change certain settings on the device. There is on the rear, there is the connector for the headset, which is a four pin uh, male connector. Let's pull it out and check. It looks like this. Sorry, five pin female. Uh, there's a software update feature where a USB stick can be inserted to change the firmware. There's a charging port as well as an auxiliary 3.5 millimeter port for audio in or out in a tip ring ring sleeve format. This is the same as on iPhones. The battery on the unit is here and it runs for 18 hours in normal operations. It can be charged either by plugging in in the charger port or you can remove the battery and put it in a separate charger called the CHD240, which will quick charge the battery in about one hour and 30 minutes. This product, Romeo, requires an Omnio-enabled matrix. And if you were watching the previous section, you know that RTS is launching an Omnio-enabled digital intercom this year called Odin. And Odin is indeed a product that can work as a base station for Romeo. And we will be offering a package of Omnio uh, digital intercom together with belt packs in a package called Romeo Fusion. It'll come in four versions. I'm going to turn the page over and show you. Bundle one is one Odin, one access points, and four belt packs. And then there are two intermediate, and the largest is bundle four, one matrix, 16 belt packs, and three access points. And that's a standalone system, plug and play, no difficult configuration required. Just set it up and run, and you have a wireless communication system with this portable key panel called Romeo. RTS has a comprehensive range of digital key panels that also support the legacy analog protocol called AIO, analog input output. Um, here is a DKP4016. That's a 16-key desktop key panel, a very popular product. has a large window here and a keypad over here. If we move on to the rack-mounted devices, we have the KP4016, which is a 16-key uh, one-rack unit Omnio-enabled uh, key panel. This was launched in 2015 as one of the first three KP series products. It also came out at that time with the EKP4016, a 16-key expansion panel. Moving along here, you'll see Odin, which we have talked about, our new digital intercom product with the GUI right here. Over on this side, we have the KP5032, which is the two-rack unit KP series key panel that supports Omnio and analog connections. And you'll see on the rear that it also has aux inputs, as well as the connection for the expansion panel. It has the GPIO connector and two RJ45 connectors for the Omnio. And finally, a provision for a small form factor pr pluggable optical module, SFP. This is an excellent product for somebody who needs 32 keys. Uh, we also have a KP 3000 series, which is the entry level. Uh, we can look at those. They're over here. Here is the KP3016. This is a slightly 
uh, simplified version of the KP4016. It also comes with a uh, expansion panel called the EKP3016. The KP3016 is also available in an analog only version called KP3016A. That's the entry level uh, device. The KP3016A does not have Omnio built in though. The KP3016 does. So you'll see that the keys go up and down for talk and listen, but the sideways movement for volume control is not available on the KP3016. There's also some differences on the keypad. It doesn't have the full dialing keypad like the Big Brother KP4016 and KP5032. So that's the range of uh, key panels. Uh, finally, to wrap that up, we have a 3000 series version of the desktop. The DKP3016 is the analog of the KP3016, but for desktop form factors. This can stand on top of a desk, which is useful for directors and other people that move around a lot. And you'll see here, slightly smaller keypad than the DKP4016. And the uh, levers don't do volume control, they only do talk and listen. But very competitive, very useful product in the entry segment. Okay, I'm HEG Digital Production Punto Tivo. I hope you've enjoyed this presentation and do check out Odin soon. Thank you.